Hey folks, how are you doing on my roof? 399, welcome to some GTA 5 leaked information. You could call this a little bit old. It is kind of old, it's not the, the, the newest of stuff, but some people obviously wouldn't have heard of it yet, and some people don't explain it properly. I know the first time I heard it, I was like, wait, what? I couldn't quite get my head around it, but now I have a little bit of, uh, you know, savvy with it, and I've looked through it, and I can understand it. So what you're going to be hearing today is a little bit of information about the heists and some possible DLC news, which is going to be quite interesting as well, because it's different to anything we've ever seen before. So I'll sit back and enjoy you can also come on over to my page where I do this kind of stuff on the regular. I do a bunch of different things over there. But anyway, this information you're seeing on the screen is cold. Okay, it's in the game files. The way they find that is by going into the game through a JTAG Xbox or a, a cracked PS3 or somehow getting the game files onto a PC and analyzing it in that way. And you can see stuff which is in the game but isn't operational yet. When it when it comes to the heists, you've got a little bit of information uh, information about uh, payment. It's going to be free to set up each heist, and the minimum payment for the heist is 100,000. The maximum payment is 1.5 million. It's not yet known whether or not that's going to be split between all four players or however many people are doing the heist, or whether or not that is just each. I would imagine that's going to be between all four players. However, that's the first time you do it. You can get between that amount. If you do the heist again, the payment goes down to 30% of, of what it was before. So if it's uh, if it's £100,000, it's going to be £30,000. Uh, $30,000, sorry, I keep saying pounds because I'm used to money like this. Is there. When it comes to, there's another bit here, another bit of coding here with regards to gold medal, silver medal and bronze medal. I think this is timing. There's a bit of a dispute here. I think it's time. If you complete the, the, the heist in a timely fashion, you get a gold medal. That's nearly whatever gold, uh, medal and silver and bronze mean in other games. But it could very well be easy, medium or hard. It could just be, you know, like code name for that. And, you know, it's unknown. Some of this stuff, it's, you know, you're not going to know at all, but you've got some stuff which you don't have in the past. So that's the high stuff. We don't know when it's coming. I'd like to think it's going to come at the end of this month. It will probably be next month yet. I would imagine maybe the next DLC, which will link in with this. You see here vehicles, pilot school vehicle, the Hydra, the Bezra, the Mildred, and the Corquette 2, each of which have their prices to the right. They are quite expensive. The Hydra, as you know, is going to be very, very similar to the military jet that you can find in the military base, but you can't buy that. You can't buy it. So you can't get it and you own it. Whereas at the moment you've got to go into the base and get it yourself. So you can buy the Hydra, that will be coming back, I would imagine, from San Andreas. The Bezra, we believe, is the Hunter from San Andreas, which would be nice. There are already images of that on the Warstock cache, so that's going to be there, 1.25 million. The military jet is probably going to be slightly different, or it might... There's a name for the military jet. I can't remember the bloody name of it at the moment. I don't fly it too much, but that could very well be a purchasable version of what you get in the military jet anyway. And you've got the Corquette as well, which in uh, the game files is the Corquette 2, so it could just be a different variation of what we've already got in there. You can get multiple versions of the same car. So that's found there by the same people that have leaked several updates in the past. You can trust it for the most part unless Rockstar makes some drastic changes between now and whenever this stuff goes live. You've got some heist information, you've got some new DLC. It seems to be that the theme for the next DLC is going to be military based. Uh, which would be quite interesting when this sort of stuff drops and the heist drop. It's going to be an interesting game. People hopefully will start liking GTA 5 again. Either way, what do you think of this? I know it's a little bit old, like I said, but I'm my rule three in the line. I keep doing these videos, GTA 5 wise. I'm doing funny moments now. I'm doing the the leak sort of stuff like you've got here. Uh, I've got a Rags to Riches series going on over on my page where it's sort of we get in and just see how we can make money, and it's, it's pretty fun. There's a bunch of stuff going on. But uh, either way, thank you very much for watching. Uh, like the video if you will, and I'll catch you in a bit.